Thank you. Hello, my name is Marcela Martinez, and I'm the director of the City Science Lab View of you. In our lab, we are addressing the challenges facing the metropolitan area of Concepcion, located in the Bio Bio region at South Central Chile. With a population of nearly one million, this area has a profound connection with water. Historically, Concepcion was located along the banks of the Bio, Bio River, a place which, due to its natural attributes, was the natural frontier between the Spanish colonizers and indigenous communities during the conquest. The Bio, Bio River also has provided vital ecosystem services to this territory, uh, with, uh, with the highest number of lakes in the country. However, in recent decades, rapid urban sprout has posed a threat to these natural ecosystems. So the primary challenge lies in reconciling the preservation of these ecosystems with the demands for housing and the reduction of informal settlements. In this context, we believe that this represents an opportunity and uh, is a, our focus is on the Costera de Concepcion, one of the city's oldest settlements located in the north side of the Rio Bio Bio River. Comprising three neighborhoods, this area has over time navigated the space between informality and the struggle to maintain its presence in this territory. The Costaneras occupation began over a century ago with the arrival of rural migrants to the city. And later, as working population arrived, they embarked on a journey of self-construction, uh, building their homes on challenging and often hostile terrain. Using field derived from the Bray and Garvact, they extended the land closer to the river, marking the beginning of a close connection with water. The residents of the Costanera adapted to the river's seasonal flooding, often raising their homes on stilt or palafitos to protect them from recurrent floods. However, amid these adversities, the river, the river also offered moments of recreation and beauty, yet in the memories of the local residents as a place for enjoyment and contemplation. To bridge social divides within the community and to fulfill the historical desire of integrating the city with the river, the Rivera Norte Master Plan was launched in the 1990s. It was one of the most significant urban development plans in the country with the goal of the urban renewal of the Costanera, addressing housing informality for about 1,400 families and overcome urban marginalization. While progress was achieved in housing, urban planning, and infrastructure development, uh, the implementation of the plan had also a profound social impact. The population had to adjust to smaller living conditions, resulting in uh, increased overcrowding, diminished social and community uh, dynamics, and of course, a disconnect from the river and the natural resources that suffered abandonment and gradual deterioration. Several public projects are currently in planning phase for intervention in this area. These projects aim to enhance existing housing, uh, formalize settlements and shanty towns, expand social and community spaces, and improve connectivity. Well, these initiatives the, uh, will suddenly improve the community's quality of life. They fall short of introducing innovative solutions that promote the sustainability of the territory, its alignment with the natural resources and community innovation. In this context, we believe that this represents an opportunity to reevaluate existing plans and exploring future scenarios, actively engaging communities and decision makers to, the to reduce social territorial inequalities. However, we aspire to go beyond the traditional urban planning. Not only advancing the formalization of housing, but also uh, encouraging the diversity of uses promoting entrepreneurial communities that can um, stimulate local economies and reducing motorized travels. Not only enhancing the quality and the quantity of green spaces, but also complementing them with nature-based solutions that can mitigate the effects of uh, river floodings uh, in recent years. Not only uh, 
reducing and safe spaces that often function as uh, micro garbage dams, but also uh, rehabilitating and reintegrating into the community for enjoyment and care. And finally, not just reorienting the city's focus towards the river, but also giving back to the river and the natural ecosystems all that have provided to the city, its inhabitants, and its indigenous communities since time immemorial. Thank you.